Do you think the flaw with libertarian and Ron Paul thinking is that they believe all humans are good and have no evil in them? Maybe that's why they think all capitalism is good and there should be no government or regulation. I have noticed the more I listen to Ron Paul and libertarians, they always talk about this theory that if we have no government, the world will be great and everyone will be happy and treat each other with respect. That's what I perceive anyways. No, actually, I don't think that they believe that all humans are good and there's no evil in them. I think they want those weaker people to just die off. I, I don't think they care. I think it's even their, they don't, that's not their agenda. They just simply think that the strong, the powerful, the rich, the smart will succeed and the others won't. And that's it. I, I don't think they think there's no evil. I don't think they think there's uh, no good. I don't, I, that's just not part of their calculation. They are completely divorced from that, in fact. For them, it's simply, it's just a race. Just let people race. And they think that it is in the best interest of corporations uh, or that it's part of their agenda to, let me put it this way, they think that it will behoove corporations uh, to function in a way that, that helps all of society. But in fact, we can simply look to the idea of stock options as compensation. How the incentives for the leadership of these corporations is not in an alignment with the long-term health of the corporation, not in alignment with the workers of the corporation, not in alignment with the public. Because if I can make a building out of cheaper material and it's going to help my bottom line, uh, just the fact that it's going to collapse on people, meh. And according to libertarians, well, nobody will buy those buildings because they, you won't move into those buildings. Now, of course, that presumes that like, oh, it doesn't happen 30 years down the road or 20 years down the road or they, they, the company will be held accountable. I don't know by whom they'll be held accountable. Uh, you would have to have the most perfect market. Uh, the, in fact, uh, Stiglitz did his entire, uh, I think, got his Nobel Prize because he talked about asymmetrical information in the market. Do you really think, as an individual, like, if you get E. coli from spinach, what mechanism is there for the public to be aware that any given spinach or beef is giving you E. coli if there's no government. Well, you could have, like, private, like, rating agencies. You know, private rating agencies where, like, uh, the beef guy could go to and get a stamp of approval. Like, we could call them Moody's. And maybe they could give you triple A rating on your beef. What could possibly go wrong? I mean, if you ever needed a, pr a perfect example of the failure of the market, how about just that tiny slice of it? You're these private rating agencies. But at the end of the day, they're interested in making money. And the notion that the simple act of pursuing money, which is what libertarians are all about, enlightened self-interest, they call it, the pursuit of money will necessarily, my pursuit of money will necessarily benefit everybody. That is what you think if you are smoking pot for the first time as a sophomore in college. And you really get into pot. And you've learned just a little bit about some new things. If you don't grow out of that stage, you are known as a libertarian when you get older. <laughs> if you live in this fantasy world, it's all hypothetical. And let's talk about this because this was the hypothetical world that Wolf Blitzer presented to, Paul, uh, to uh, Ron Paul. And in fact, this philosophy is shared by all of them. 
It's just that they won't come out and say it. They won't come out and say it. Ron Paul will. That's his brand. So let me read some of these comments that we got on the YouTube. And incidentally, when we made that YouTube yesterday, that vid, we didn't have the information about Ron Paul's staffer, the 49-year-old guy who died. We only knew that he had $400,000 worth of uh, medical bills that were left to his mom. We didn't know, and I speculated that that 400000 may not have been paid off. Well, now we know that they raised less than $50,000 from all his friends and family and churches and... It was like $34,000. Well, it was thirty-four. i I'm being generous. So there's $350,000 left extant. And according to Ron Paul, the mothers and the estate never had to pay it off. Guess who did pay that bill? Guess who paid that $350,000? Because of the failure of the libertarian philosophy that churches will step in there, that people will donate, that friends and family, that rich politicians like Ron Paul maybe will step in and help out that estate. No, we all paid it. We all paid it either through our tax dollars that subsidized that hospital or through our insurance rates that made up for that payment. Somebody paid for it. But, 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 but. All the commenters on the, uh, the Ron Paulites on the commenting say, but the reason why it was $400,000 is because of government intrusion. Government makes it more expensive, really. And how does that happen? Through Medicare, which actually creates a downward pressure on medical costs? because its payments are less than those of the private insurance industry? It's regulations, like you can't have, um, you can't have fecal matter uh, rubbed all on the walls of hospitals. Is that the problem? Is that the problem? Government regulations, you can't have fecal matter uh, on all the instruments that are used to treat patients? Do you understand how deluded you people are? You don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what you're talking about. You might want to refrain. Sam, you might want to refrain from portraying Ron Paul so unfairly because a lot of uh, libs support him, believe it or not. He in no way said, let him die. But I'm sure you had to hype it for CNBC. There are Dems even holding their noses and registering Republicans so they can vote for him in the primary. Look, there are, like I said, there are Ron Paul ideas that I can get behind, like pull out of Afghanistan and Iraq, audit the Fed. And the war on drugs. And the war on drugs. But in this instance, and in terms of his philosophy that got him there, because obviously there are other philosophies that get us to the same conclusions, his philosophy is bunk. And it's dangerous. And it's just bunk. You detest other people's freedom, says Ron Paul advocate. What about my freedom? Why do I have to pay for Ron Paul's campaign manager for his bill that he couldn't pay? Hmm? And what freedom do I have to change jobs if I have no health insurance? What freedom do we have if we could die and go broke and not be able to care for our families? What, what, what is that freedom? The freedom to die on the streets? That's not freedom. The freedom to cross your fingers and hope a charity takes you in? The freedom to be a serf? To be, uh, to be a charity case? To pray that the church will save me? Is that freedom? I guess I'm not free from the church in that instance, am I? Ron Paul didn't say let him die. He said family, neighbors, and church could help out. And with no income tax and prices drop down, it would be easy. So stop spreading bullshit. All right. Chattelopolis. Well, first of all, his family, neighbors, and church didn't help out. So with no income tax, 
Society wouldn't function, sadly. I'm sorry. That's just the case. You want to go back into time, take your spaceship, go back into time, back to uh, whatever it was, 1916, uh, and go see if those four states uh, that you are afraid, uh, that you are convinced, illegally ratified the, the 16th Amendment to the Constitution, the 16th Amendment that did income tax, that illegally ratified that uh, amendment to the Constitution, go ahead, enjoy. And how do prices drop down? How does that happen? Do you wave your magic libertarian wand? And prices drop down. Well, yes, you're absolutely right. But you know what? Why don't you just jump to if he never got sick? Why don't you take your magic wand that's going to drop the prices of, of health care and get rid and have society function without an income tax and use that magic wand and just go back in time and make him healthy? The mango, let charity and houses of religion take care of them. So now, these freedom-loving people want us all enslaved to churches. If churches, let me say something, if churches were the only way to provide health care for people, don't you think there's a danger that at one point the churches will say, oh, incidentally, <laughs> you got to do something for that. Maybe you got to tithe. It becomes pseudo-government at that point. Of course. At what point in our history did churches take care of this stuff? Anybody want to point out on that? Anybody want to tell me the time that churches kept two-thirds of our uh, elderly out of poverty like Social Security does? Wh when was that? It was his own fault for not buying health insurance. The price of freedom is responsibility. He died for the cause of liberty. Had I known about his plight, I would have donated money to get him healthy, but it wouldn't have and shouldn't have been a responsibility for me to do so. Well, ex Vipok, he needed $350,000. I'm sure somebody will still take that money. I'm sure he's so psyched and his family was psyched to have that chance to die for freedom. He, he's basically saying that yeah, people should help him out, but he should have to earn it. It should be his responsibility. If he doesn't, he should be deemed important enough for me to want to help him. Exactly. Grant Man says, man, how did we get by without government? How did the world exist before Big G took care of us from cradle to grave? It must have been awful. Well, actually, it was. That's why these programs were instituted. Now, if you don't want to have government, I want to go back to the caveman, whatever it is, go find an island somewhere. But before these government programs, like Medicare, and before Social Security, two-thirds of our elderly died in poverty, which means that they lived on the streets. They died of things like consumption. It was actually fairly awful. It probably was pretty good if you managed, as a kid, to live uh, you know, without, um, you know, without, uh, without any antibiotics, uh, without any uh, health care. If you managed to live, you didn't die of an impacted tooth or whatever it was, you'd probably get a pretty good 10 or 15 years in. But yes, life for most people was fairly miserable. This is what you should do, Grant Man 321. Buy a history book. The most egregious part of this video is you seem to actually believe the BS you're shoveling. I can't wait for this era of liberalism to end so we can get back to the inconceivable notion of personal responsibility. I can't either. I hope you're very strong. <laughs> I hope you're really strong. And then Hanks, now 82, this was just another homosexual that died because of his own behavior. Nothing to see here, folks. Move along. Uh, Hanks to now, why is Sam afraid to, die, uh, to say this guy was a queer that died of AIDS? I didn't know that he was gay. I don't know that he is gay. I don't know that he died of AIDS. But that, that was the argument some people were saying because they were trying to wrap their head around $400,000 for pneumonia. It's expensive to go in the hospital for two months. And the ventilator they probably use and 
it's very expensive to go into the hospital. I love fear tactics. Nice scare tactic video. Well, you know what? You should be afraid. I'm terrified at the notion that we could live under this type of uh, libertarian regime. Now, of course, it would never, never, ever, ever, ever happen. Any more than the idea that, like, I want to live in a world where I have no gravity. But I don't want to go into space to have to do it. I want to do it here, and I don't have to wear a special suit. <laughs> As opposed to personal responsibility, I guess that's personal floatability. That's what I want to see. And then uh, it goes over to like some guy saying, like, I would never go to a hospital by choice. Alternative medicine. I I'm not even going to address that insanity. <laughs> Fine. Don't. Someone does ask him what would happen if I hit you with my car, and the guy says, then I would go to the hospital only because it's on your dime. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's unbelievable. And, and the point is not for me to pick on Ron Paul or his followers. The point is, this is embedded in the Republican philosophy. And they carry that tune basically as far as Really, they just go as far as like, look, we shouldn't have to pay for the other types of people who need health care. That's basically what it comes down to. If your church is rich and they'll, they'll pay for it, that's the way it should be. Of course, that never, ever, 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 ever happens. <laughs> 